let's take a look at project management. Using visual project management scheduling tools is important. So here we discuss scheduling in three techniques, the planning sheet, the Gantt chart, and the PERT network, which are often designed for specific projects. Scheduling is the process of listing activities that must be performed to accomplish an objective. The activities are listed in sequence along with the time needed to complete each one. An important part of scheduling is routing. Routing is the path and sequence of the transformation of a product into an output. Priority scheduling is the continued evaluation and recording of the sequence in which products will be produced. The method of priority scheduling depends on the layout used. Planning sheets state the objective and list the sequence of activities required to meet the objective, when each activity will begin and end and who will complete each activity. Gantt charts use bars to graphically illustrate a schedule and progress towards the objective over a period. The different activities to be performed are usually listed vertically with time shown horizontally. Multiple activities are considered to be independent when they can be performed simultaneously. They're considered to be dependent when they must be completed before the next activity can begin. Planning sheets and Gantt charts are useful tools when activities follow each other in a dependent series. However, when some activities are dependent and others are interdependent, PERT, a critical path, is more appropriate. PERT is a network scheduling technique that illustrates the dependence of activities. The key components of PERT are activities, events, times, and critical path. With complex projects, it's common to have multiple activities represented as one event. The critical path is the most time-consuming series of activities in a PERT network. The critical path is important to know because it determines the length of time needed to complete a project. To summarize, planning sheets and Gantt charts are commonly used to develop procedures for routine standing plans, whereas PERT is commonly used for single-use program plans for a complex project with dependent activities. However, all three types of schedules can be used for either standing or single-use plans. 